guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. And you know, the interesting thing about Zoo Montana that we want to get better about telling is why we have the animals we do. And one of the things about that is we only feature our outdoor animals, our 45th parallel or north animals. Meaning, if you put your finger on Montana on a globe and you spin that globe, anything on or above that line, that's where our animals are from. And there's many reasons we do that. We'll get into that in a later video. But today I want to talk about one animal that is part of that 45th parallel, but they're migratory, and that's this little beautiful right here, Lurch, our turkey vulture, and you might be able to see way back in the back, Gomez is back there as well, another turkey vulture. Now turkey vultures, they come to Montana usually in the springtime and they leave right, usually right at the beginning of fall, end of summer, and so the winter time here in Montana is really tough on turkey vultures, that's why they migrate. However, here at the zoo, unfortunately because of the injuries these guys have, they can't migrate. So it's really important for us to give them a shelter during the winter time so they don't get too cold. Now with this these guys, especially Lurch, because he's been here at the zoo for so long, he can tolerate some pretty cool temperatures, and so he is out on an exhibit, uh, usually in the 20s or above, but when it gets below that, he moves back here. And where we are right now, this basically is called a mew. That's what you call a, a shelter for a bird of prey, a mew. And so in this mew, he's got a couple things, and I'm gonna show you just right behind me, that blue bowl you see right here, it's actually a heated water bowl, so the water doesn't freeze, and underneath that, you might see that's actually a red light, that's a heat lamp and all of these animals back here that stay back here have those features obviously to keep them warm not only that this entire area that we're in is actually protected there's plastic up on the sides that way the wind doesn't get in here and these animals can tolerate those cold temperatures very very well and so unfortunately the bad news is when it gets really cold you might not see this little knucklehead out on exhibit because he is back here now I say knucklehead but I you know I love this guy. Vultures, by far, my favorite animals. They are just such neat animals and some cool characteristics. Remember, I've talked about them before, but that bald head keeps them clean. So when they go inside those animals, it doesn't get gross in those feathers. And then you can really see that little leg right there. He's got that white crust on his leg. Yeah, that's his own poop. Because he does that on a hot summer day, cools him down. It's actually stained his legs. And believe it or not, it actually cleans his legs because that stomach acid, essentially acidic, and it helps to clean that leg as he goes down his leg. Pretty gross. And if you're wondering where am I standing, this is where our porcupine lander, who you've met, this is where he hangs out at night. We bring him in here every night, and you can see he's got quite a playground. Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy, nice and warm in here, not looking forward to going out there where it's quite chilly. We'll see you real soon.